feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend welcome back to my channel today I am going to give you guys an organizational tour of my kitchen just to show you guys how I organize my kitchen as of now so in this side of the cabinet I have my holiday dishes all of my seasonal dishes as well and they're just here temporarily until I can get my dining room together and then I'm going to be moving them out over to my DIY shelving um, that I spoke to you guys about. Also, the stemware that's in this cabinet is also going to be moved over to my dining room. But for now, they are safely tucked away in these cabinets. Below those cabinets, that's my junk drawer. And I also have um, just a bunch of different holiday um, platters and you know all of my beautiful ginger jars. Um, I have them stored away there. Those are also going to be going into my dining room and then all this space will be freed up for other things. But as of now, they are safely tucked away. These two uh, drawers are completely empty, nothing's in them. And then of course you know a girl has to have her tools close by. So I just went ahead and put them in this drawer, which it just saves me a lot of time um, and energy to keep them here. Over in this side of the cabinet, I just have some Tupperware, um, my recipe book, and Nyla's sippy cups. Um, obviously, I'm just trying to be as minimal as possible. I'm really not trying to fill up all my cabinets. I just want them to be clean and organized and minimal. Here below uh, in this drawer, I have all of my dish towels, seasonal dish towels, and my everyday dish towels as well. And then below is this cabinet, which I cleaned out all my cabinets with bleach, by the way, just to let you guys know. Um, I do have some platters that are down here. I am going to completely give all my cabinets inside and out a complete facelift. So this is my under sink um, cabinet. There's absolutely nothing in there. Um, just a sinkerator and it's disgusting. I'm going to completely take that out. Um, on the side of my dishwasher, I do have my Cascade, my Bark uh, Keepers Cleaner, my Myers um, All Purpose um, Cleaner. And also I found this Biotrol um, Cleaner, Disinfecting Cleaner in Target. Guys, this is so amazing. I am not sponsored by any way, but I just had to tell you guys about this Biotrol. It's legit. Um, above that cabinet, I do have my drawer with my oven mitts and my pot holder um, for everyday use. It's Christmas, but I do use them every day. And then in this cabinet above those that drawer, I do have all of my bakeware. This is my Pioneer Woman um, mix and bowl set. And then all the other bakewares and platters I actually did thrift from the Salvation Army, you guys. You'll be amazed at what you can really find um, at the Salvation Army if you really just keep an eye out. So next to that cabinet, I do have my everyday um, glasses and teacups and um, cereal bowls and things like that. I don't keep my plates in here, um, dinner plates. I do keep them in the eating kitchen area right now in my china cabinet, only because Michaela sets the table and that's where she can um, get the plates and just lay them out on the table. And then in this drawer below that cabinet, I have all my silverwares, my utensils, my uh, measuring uh, cups, and not cups, but my measuring spoons and my cutlery. And then below that, I do have like my entertainment um, things that I use for summertime or during the holidays, my crock pots, um, popcorn machine maker, also a, um, a candy, I can't remember the name of it, but I, my daughter's candy maker <laughs> is under there as well. Um, and then in this cabinet next to that, I just have my spice 
um, spices in there. I don't use a lot of spices, you guys, and also my oils. Then in this cabinet, I just have my pots, my pans, and my baking for my cake and cupcakes and things like that. So this is my pantry. Um, it's not completely organized. I am going to be doing um, a pantry organizational video, um, but this is what it is for now. We kind of just go in and my kids go in at the snacks and you know, as you can see, the bags are open, but thank God for a pantry, right? <laughs> you moms out there, you get it, you understand. You know what I'm feeling, what I'm going through. Um, but this is what my pantry looked like for now. So this is on top of my countertops. This is my countertops left of my sink. Um, I just have a few things on there. I try not to keep it cluttered. Um, that's one of my thrifting items that I found for $2. My Mrs. Meyer dish soap, and I just have some greenery in a flower pot. Um, I have my plate rack on top of that, and this cutting board I am actually going to get rid of and um, get a new cutting board in place over the hole that I showed you guys. <laughs> it's above my dishwasher. And then there goes those thrifted items again. I thought they looked beautiful there. They look great on my ca my countertop. And then in this little nook area is just all of our teas, um, honey, and just my Mrs. Meyer lavender candle. I love it there and it just it just is so beautiful. And then I have my Farberware um, tea kettle and my utensil holder. I've always wanted to put my utensil holder next to my stove, you guys, and I finally get the opportunity to do so. So above my stove, I just have a little um, frame that has the wording start each day with a grateful heart, which I do. I am so grateful to God for every blessing that he's given us. And then over on this side of the countertop, I just have a farmer's market sign with my thrifted three-tier tray and my Pioneer Woman cake holder. I am just loving my countertops, you guys. Then in this little area in the hallway, I do have a kitchen sign um, with some hooks that holds my keys and I'm going to be putting aprons there as well. And then you saw my garbage can. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe as well if you haven't already done so. Um, don't forget to also hit that bell for new notifications. I'm showing you my lights because I'm going to be changing that out. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember that Jesus is, Jesus is Lord and that Jesus loves you and so do I. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye guys. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting go. Spend my.